Let us examine the work of God and the work of mankind as recorded in the earliest chapters of the book of Genesis. Of God, it is written Genesis 1.31, And God saw everything that he had made, and behold, it was very good. And the evening and the morning were the sixth day. Here is what the Bible says about what humanity did. Romans 5 verse 12. Wherefore, as by one man sin entered into the world, and death by sin. Genesis 3.17 And unto Adam he said, Because thou hast hearkened unto the voice of thy wife, and hast eaten of the tree of which I commanded thee, saying, Thou shalt not eat of it, cursed is the ground for thy sake. What God did is described as very good every day of creation. What mankind did through Adam brought death, disease, suffering, and every imaginable form of war. Why am I saying that? God's work is described as very good. He did it by his word. What Adam did brought catastrophe because it was done contrary to God's word. It is as simple as that. God brought blessing, order, symmetry, beauty, design, stability through his word. Adam introduced discord, chaos, anarchy by violating the word of God. My simple message for you, my friends, and I believe God has given me this message for you. Whatever you have to do, do it by the word of God. And invariably, the result will be blessings, whether you acknowledge the blessing or not. Because obedience to God's word does not, cannot, and will never bring a curse. Disobedience to God's word will inevitably eventuate in curses and in suffering and in sorrow. Eventually, this will be the outcome. Whenever you have a decision to make, an action to take, ask yourselves, am I functioning like the Creator by doing everything by the Word? If you cannot show clearly how your action is consistent with the Word of God, don't do it. Always ask, is this consistent with the Word of God? Let me tell you again, Genesis 131, and God saw everything that He had made, and behold, it was very good. How did God do that? He used His Word. God's method brings blessings, peace, harmony, design, beauty, order. Why did the earth, why was the earth cursed? Why did sorrow, suffering, and woes come? Because Adam's behavior was contrary to the Word of God. As you keep the Sabbath holy, my listening friend, remember your Creator functioned by His Word. Since you and I were originally through Adam made in his image, let us exercise that image by making every decision, carrying out every action according to God's word. May the Lord bless you and put a sweet double blessing on your children as you keep the Sabbath holy and make a decision to do everything according to his word. Happy Sabbath and God bless you.